verse 13 says, Therefore, if what I eat causes my brother or sister to fall into sin, I will never eat meat again, so that I will not cause them to fall. Let's focus on the word therefore. This is the conclusion of all the things that Paul said to the Christians in Corinth. The main context of this chapter is all about an inquiry about the food. If you would ask me, what is wrong with the food that was offered to idols? Christians in Corinth is considered as defiled church. All members of the church were guilty of all kinds of sin that a changed person must not do. There were bunches of issues inside the church that they can't handle by themselves. What are the sins of Corinthian Christians? These are drunkenness, immorality, idolatry, division, and issues about salvation. The church was in serious trouble. All of their problems inside their fellowship were known by those pagan people. It is unpleasing to be called Corinthian. When someone calls you as a Corinthian, it gives a clear picture of your culture and sins. In verse 1, Corinthians had an inquiry with Paul regarding on food sacrificed to idols. What's in it with the food? Is it a sin to eat meat? According to history, there are two kinds of meat in Corinth. Well, logically speaking, you will get a meat from the marketplace. There are two kinds of meat in Corinth. This were regular meat, which is expensive. It is like buying a meat from a supermarket. Second is local meat, which is cheaper meat. This meat is usually offered to gods in Corinth, and this meat had many supplies. What are the distributions of this local meat to pagans? It is intended for burnt offering to their gods on the altar inside the temple. It is distributed to followers of a god to be eaten and shared. The meat was placed on top of the special table intended for their gods. They thought gods can eat the meat they offered, but in reality, they were only eaten by the followers in secret. There are two types of Christians in Corinth. First is strong Christians, strong when it comes to knowledge about God. Second is weak Christians weak when it comes to knowledge about God. If there were strong Christians in the church, there were also weak Christians inside the fellowship. Surely, these were newly converted Corinthians in the Lord and they had limited knowledge about Christ. This is the problem. These weak Christians see what strong Christians were doing. They would thought there is no difference between a pagan and a Christian. Food is not the main problem here. Do you want to know the real problem here? The problem is they lack on love to weak Christians and they use their liberty in the wrong way. We are free to do whatever we want to in our life. This is a free country. The question is this, does this thing would help our weaker brothers and sisters to strengthen their faith? If the things that we do would be the cause for someone to fall into sin, that's the time we are sinning against Christ. Our knowledge with God must have corresponding result which is love. The result why we love God and others is because we use our knowledge about God properly. Let's not use our knowledge about God because we want to do something for ourselves. Instead, we must use our knowledge about God to strengthen others' faith. Knowledge and love are connected to each other. 
The more that we know God by studying His Word, the more love we can apply to others, especially to our brethren. As a Christian, what should be my basis of not doing these things? My love and conscience. My love to my brethren that I want to keep him and make him grow his knowledge about God just like I am. I want to keep my conscience in good shape. It's not about doing the things that I want. It's all about thinking the welfare of others, especially on their spiritual life. I hope you are blessed on this video. May I request that you leave a comment below what you have learned on this video. Don't forget also to like and subscribe and don't forget to click the notification bell for my upcoming videos. Until next time.